We're starting this off with a cutscene. Oh, uh, okay. Immediately, I guess. Sure. Oh, I am so bored. My kingdom's so quiet without Ginger Brave, Strawberry Cookie, and Wizard Cookie. I'm assuming, just from reference, I think this happened, yeah, a few months earlier. This probably happened during Beast Yeast Episode 1 and 2, where it was only Strawberry, Wizard, and Ginger Brave who went off to Beast Yeast. A king needs entertainment. Hey, be careful what you wish for. Oh, look. A big blueberry bird is flying right at us. Huh? It's carrying something heavy, like a chest full of shiny coins. Hurry up, Custard Cookie. Time is money. Maybe. Chili Pepper Cookie, where are you going? Do we have to chase the bird? <laughs> She's really speedy when there's treasure involved. Ha! You haven't seen nothing yet. Brrr. So heavy. It's a, it's a talking bird. Look! The blueberry bird's going to drop the bundle. Bundle? That's my treasure you're talking about. Gotcha! Wait, what? This is no coins! This is a baby! Hey, blueberry bird! Where did you bring this little cookie from? Look inside. Oh, a letter from Ginger Brave. Dear Custard Cookie the Third, Chili Pepper Cookie, and Friends of the Cookie Kingdom. Hi, all. I hope you're all doing okay without us. We met this cute little buddy while on our adventure. So cute! Unfortunately, where we're headed is not safe for a doughy little cookie, which is why we're sending this little bundle of joy to you. I'm confident that this little one will grow up big and strong in the Cookie Kingdom under your care. Thanks, friends. Until next time, Ginger Brave. Okay, no, specifically, it wasn't after Beasties. This was specifically after the story with Elder Fairy and Matcha Kiki when they giant, oh, they summoned that giant Mega Doe. And after defeating it, I guess, I summoned all those, like, small little cookies. And, uh, just, I guess there's, like, a ton of them. And, you know, Ginger Brave and friends, they ended up getting one of them who was just a small baby. So they just sent him back to a kingdom by bird, which... I, I don't know, I assume that, like, White Lily Cookie just, like, talked with one of the birds or something just to send them back, because, uh, how the plot else would they talk to a blueberry bird? That ginger brave could have learned something more useful from pure vanilla cookie than writing all those silly letters. What are we supposed to do now? I, for one, welcome a new subject into my kingdom. Now hold on to your jelly horsies. There's a P.S. P.S. Be careful not to wake the little cookie. For someone so young, this one had a lot to cry about. You you probably should have said that right at the top of the letter. Oh no. <sighs> uh. Oh, it's not that bad yet. Why? Yeah. Oh, we've done it now. Oh no, we've done it now. Ah. Uh. How do I how do I care for a baby? How do I care for a baby? They keep on crying. Uh, and they, and they just goes. I can't stop it. I can't stop. Oh, hey, blueberry bird, what do we do? Oh no, it flew off. Oh, they're just gonna do this the whole time. Hey, pipe down. You do something. What should I do? There, there. Little doughy baby, hush now. Can we get like a berry and just like shove it in its mouth or something? Like this is this is not good. Someone, anyone, your sovereign requires help with this baby. Let me handle that for you. Where where did you just come from? Wait, who are you? Do you have experience with baby dough? I don't care who you are. Just make it stop. Can you calm it down, please? Hush now, sweet little cookie. I'm here for you. It's it's not working. Oh, I've come a long way, following the blueberry bird to this very place to help you, little one. <laughs> Look at my fluffy cream tail. So soft and bouncy. <laughs> Eh? Hurrah! I can turn into a cookie now! 
When? Oh, you're a cookie? I'm a cream ferret. I'm one of the cream critters. Natural babysitters, mind you. I can turn into a cookie at will when my powers are needed. That way, I can give a big cookie hug. <laughs> oh, you're happy to see me too, huh? I can't explain how or why, but I feel like you were calling for me. <laughs> My powers were sleeping for the longest time, but thanks to you, they've awakened now. You're my special baby cookie. Uh, all it took was a child crying to make you wake up. <laughs> and I have a feeling we're gonna be best friends. Whoa, this little punk is growing real fast. Dude, am I even gonna have a chance to like read comments? Like, sheesh, th we're already like 10 minutes in. Should I, just, what, should I just read a plumbing comment question that they write now? We're already 10 minutes in, and I've checked out none of the update. I probably have to just make this a longer video or something, because, like, what the plumb is up with the story? <laughs> Creamy! Aw, you want a hug? One strong cookie hug coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy if you're happy. You're gonna grow up bigger and stronger than yesterday. Oh, I just can't... <clears throat> At least I'm taller than the baby. Right? Right? <laughs> tooth? A tooth sing less baby dough. Shh, chili pepper cookie! You slammed the door too hard and startled our little cookie! Quick and painless is the way to go! The toothing was already loose, so it shouldn't have hurt that much! Aw, oh, there, there. It's gonna be okay. I'll give you a big hug for being such a big cookie. At least the tooth thing came out nicely. Will I get new toothing? Oh, is this their teeth? Of course, little one. It'll grow back in a jiffy. Did they... Did they do the thing where, like, you wrap your teeth around a string and they attach it to the doorknob and then they just pull? They're, 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 there's no way they did that, did they? All right, now. Let's toss your tooth thing up on the roof. What? Oh, Blueberry Bird, take this toothsing and bring back a new one. It's up on the roof now. Your new toothsing is gonna grow back all nice and pretty, just like mine. See? I king kebab. Huh? Did you just call me a king? Aren't you my best royal subject? Look, my little subject is holding my hand. Your little subject looks as tall as you now. Kids are growing up so fast. Not that tall. Yeah. You know, I was, I was gonna say this is cute, but I mean, to be fair, it is. But like, how how long has it been? And they're already growing up to be taller than Custer. How? How 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 is Custer Kiki not even grown himself? Uh, after some time. Good morning! Whoa, looks like someone is standing at the door. Knock. Excuse me, anyone home? Who, who would that be? Hmm, let's see who it is. Did you sleep well? Uh, good morning, Creamy. I'm up. I'll, I'll, I'll get ready and be right there. Hello, all. It's a wonderful morning, is it not? Caramel shoe cookie! Wait, you look rather frazzled. Well, I've been busy with the town square repairs. Busy, busy as a bee, but happy as can be. Ugh, who likes being busy? Huh? What's that in your hands? An envelope full of crisp bills? Hmm, you're just too funny, Chili Pepper Cookie. This here is an invitation I made. An, an invitation? That's right. We're going to have a festival to celebrate the reopening of the town square. Please do come, as we're making preparations as we speak. Come enjoy the town square, livelier and busier than ever. I just had an insane idea for what I could do. But that would just require a lot of editing, but and that'd be so funny. Ahem, I have a feeling we must go to this festival, especially my little subject. <laughs> Call me his little subject. Well then, I'll see you all at the town square. All right, little one, let's get you ready. Okay, just give me a second. 
And also, I told you that I'm not little anymore. Like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm all grown up. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> My bad. I won't call you little anymore. I promise. <laughs> hey, Green Ferret Cookie. Over here. Shh. I have a secret to tell you. Oh? What is it? Um, um. We're throwing a surprise birthday party in the town square for my little subject. It's a surprise, so no telling, okay? I bet you're gonna be the first one to tell, my liege. And your little subject might be taller than you, huh? Oh, wowie, what a great idea. Our buddy is gonna love the party, I'm sure. I had a panic attack. I thought they were literally going to say hype cookie, but just in case they just filled it up with saying our buddy. I always got terrified for a moment. I was like, oh, this game knows too much. Indeed. And it'll be a party attended by a king at that. Chili Pepper Cookie and I are preparing a huge cake. Oh, great. In that case, I'll prepare a gift for the little one. A gift? Mm-hmm. I'll find the perfect gift for a perfect cookie. <laughs> I couldn't have gotten my powers without the little one, you know? I want to find the best birthday present ever! The greatest in the world! Mm-hmm! I like the best presents, too! Coins! Lots of them! Anywho, I'm curious what you're gonna get! Uh, sure! Thing! <laughs> you can count on me! Hmm, let me think. What does the little one like? Uh, nothing really comes to mind! Okay, here, here's story, ah. okay. The town square is bustling with cookies. No pickpocketing, chili pepper cookie. <laughs> but there are so many shiny things here and there, begging to be snatched. <clears throat> chili pepper cookie and I have errands to run. The king must uh, sample some cakes. Yes. Hey, could you be more obvious? Go shop, my loyal subjects. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Hey, uh, Creamy, where should we go visit next? <laughs> uh, you, uh, you okay? Well, huh? Oh, sorry, I zoned out for a second. Oh, uh, I usually have that happen sometimes, but what's on your mind? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> where should we go first? Oh, I know. How about Sugarcoat Cookies Salon? I hear all the latest fashion comes from there. Perhaps a stylish outfit? Welcome, welcome! Is this your first time visiting our fabulous salon? Mm-hmm. We want to browse for an outfit for my friend over here. Oh, leave it up to me. Do you fancy a certain style or look by any chance? Uh. Mm, I really don't know if I'm going to be honest. Well, no worries at all, my dear. Shall we take a look together? Hmm, maybe a costume wasn't such a good idea. All right, then. How about we head over to the weaving shop next? I hear that lots of fun and exciting magic happens here. Let's weave stuff you like. Uh, stuff I like? <laughs> A new face! Come on in. What can I do for you? Uh, I... I don't even know what this place is all about. <laughs> don't sweat it. Give it a try first and see if you like it. Pick out what tickles your fancy. Weaving magic is all about mixing the unexpected. Uh, uh I mean, they all look good. Uh, uh, how about you, Karimi? Can, can you, like, choose something for me? Hmm? Uh, how about you pick out what you want? <laughs> the first time is tricky for everyone. Here, let me give it a try. Now, now, what ingredient did you pick out? What do you want to weave? A new outfit? Or how about a hat? Uh, I'm... I have no idea, like, I mean, whatever this thing is, it looks white, fluffy, and soft, kind of like you. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> well, let's weave it up! Hmm, looks like weaving magic doesn't interest you all that much. I need to find the perfect gift for my little one. Uh, creamy? Gift! What? It's nothing. Where shall we head to next? Uh, you're acting kind of strange. Are you good? Me? Acting strange? <laughs> Not at all. All right. Y you gotta believe me. Oh, look. Hello. Hi, all. Sparkling cookie, herb cookie. What are you two doing here? We were picking out flowers for the town square festival. Ooh, what kind of flowers shall we bring? Uh, 
Herb cookie shop has so many kinds of flowers. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what kind of flowers do you like? Sweet pink flowers? Or sour lemon flowers? Or perhaps cookie vorous plants? Uh, I mean, can't I just say all of the above? Oh, yes. There are simply too many to choose from. Herb Cookie loves all kinds of plants. I'm not sure what I like, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not much of a flower person. Maybe you could think real hard and it'll come to you? Like your favorite color or scent. Come on, give me a hint. Uh, how about this one? Oh, I do love a cherry berry gold flower. The golden petals are so pretty, aren't they? Oh, the yellow will go well with the festivities. So your favorite color is yellow? I, I think so. I mean, it's the color of my skin for the most part. I mean, I was also thinking about the little brush that you have, too. All right, then. My turn. I was pondering over which juice recipe to bring to the festival. Say, what's your favorite juice? Well, sparkling cookies beverages are all delicious. Hmm, which one was your favorite? You loved that sparkling juice we had that one time. Oh, and remember the mulled grape juice we had during winter? That was tasty. I mean, there was, like, nothing else to drink, but... Yeah, they were pretty decent, but I don't know what I even like, because I'm not much of a juice person. I mean, I've drank juice before, but there's so many. No need to be so glum, little cookie. My favorite flower changes every day. It changes depending on the season or even my mood. Herb Cookie is right. You can sample different juices if you're unsure of what you like. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Wait. My... Why does everyone keep calling me little? I'm, I'm not Crunchy Chip. Of course. We can figure out all your favorite things. Right. You can count on me. I'll give you the best present ever. A, a, wait. A present? Why? What'd I do? The more the merrier. Please accept this gift of fresh sparkling juice. Take note of its sparkle, scent, and mm, scrumptious taste. Oh. Oh, wow. The sparkles are actually pretty, you know, pretty. Then thanks, Sparkling Cookie. Hmm, maybe I should choose a gift anyone would love to receive. Something so grand. Something so awesome. Oh, it's gonna be such a happy surprise. Looks like Cream Ferret Cookie is lost in thought. They have an oddly confident look on their face. Uh, what's even creamy? What, what are they thinking about? Alrighty, time to head back. Oh, look, it's Custard Cookie the Third and Chili Pepper Cookie. Ahem. <clears throat> Notice anything different about your king? Hmm... Not really. Oh, come on, it's my crown! I got it specially crafted for this festival. <laughs> what do you all think? What's so special about it? It's the same old paper crown. Real crowns should be gleaming with gold and jewels. But a real crown will weigh down my delicate custard cloth. Well, let, let, let's be honest. If his crown was filled with jewels and gold, you'd just steal it. Do you even have a real crown? Well, no, because a cake hound took it. Uh, a cake hound? <laughs> oh, right. Gather round, and I'll tell you a tale of Chili Pepper Cookie's adventures. When I first arrived in this kingdom, there was nothing but grass and old ruins, where a treasure was... After a while. This, this is going to take quite a while. Like, sheesh. So that's what happened. And? What do you mean, and? You forgot to mention what happened to the crown in the middle of the story. Oh, right. Uh, hey, Custer, do you remember what happened to the crown? A king knows all. The exact location of the crown is none other than, uh... I forget. The cake hound must still have it. Excuse me. That's not what's important in this story. It's the journey that matters. What do you think? Cool, huh? Uh, yes. I mean, you were basically a hero, which I gotta be honest, that's the coolest thing I could have ever heard. Whoa! Fun adventures with your friends. I mean... Oh, we had so much fun. I'd pickpocket everyone I'd meet. What Chili Pepper Cookie is saying is that she enjoyed meeting all those new friends. Uh, probably the friends with money, but we're, we're, honestly, did you really still want that crown? Like, 
It kind of just seems like something you just kind of forgot about, right, Creamy? <gasps> That's it! The key counts crown! Oh, you're gonna be so surprised if I gift you the crown from the story! And then I'll tell you everything about how and where I got it! Whew. I hope no one saw me sneak out! I'll find the crown and get back before anyone notices I'm gone! Custard Cookie the Third and Chili Pepper Cookie said this is where they last saw the crown. By the way, this is the Dragon Hill theme. That's cool. What's this statue? It looks awfully familiar. Who goes there? A new face, I see. Never, never mind. It's Teen Knight. It's Teen Knight. A talking statue! I'm Cream Ferret Cookie from the Cookie Kingdom. I ventured out here to find a very special gift for a very special cookie. Hmm, you are telling the truth. I am Teen Knight Cookie. You will find nothing but a dense thicket if you venture further into the woods. No gift-worthy objects in there. Well, I'm looking for something real special, you see. A crown worn by a cake hound. Say, have you seen a cake hound wearing a big, shiny crown around here? Cake hounds are pesky little creatures. I suggest looking for a different gift for your cookie friend. Oh no, it has to be that crown. You see, my friend is someone really special to me. All the other cream critters got their cream craft powers way ahead of me, and I felt so left out. But my special friend made everything A-OK. -okay. That's why I'll do whatever it takes to bring them that crown. A solemn oath made to oneself. I, too, once had brethren like your friend. Oh, really? Maybe I could meet your special friends one day. That would be impossible. They've turned to dust. A part of history now. Oh. Then they might have come to the cream critters. Cream critters take care of fresh cookies. You see, sometimes stray life powder makes its way into their doughs. Who knows? Maybe your friends are among them too. One day, they'll come visit you, Tea Night Cookie. A pipe dream, but I am entertained nonetheless. I have not seen a cake hound donning a crown, but those creatures usually show up in that area over there. I'll head that way then. A gift for a friend is nice, but make sure to find your way back to them. Huh? There is nothing more precious than returning safely to your brethren. May the blessings of the Tea Leaf Knights be with you. Thank you so much, Tea Knight Cookie. Hmm, where could that crowned cake hound be? You! What are you doing in my domain? Tell me before I call the guards! Guard! Oh, hello there, little jelly wormy. Oh, he, the, the worm's back. Do not belittle me, Cookie, for I am destined to become a great dragon one day. Pray tell, what are you searching for? Have you seen a cake hound wearing a crown around here? Hmm, the memory is faint, but I do recall this creature you speak of. Try that path. Cake hounds are mighty fast, so you have a long journey ahead of you. Cool, thanks. Whoa, look at the sparkling sand in the pristine blue ocean. It's so pretty out here. Are we just across the tropical soda islands now? Like, what the fuck is going on? I wish my friend could see this as well. Ugh. The sun is scorching hot, and I'm thirsty from running around as well. I gotta look for the cake count fast. Hey, I'm no pirate. I'm changed now. Oh, that's not your question. How could I help you? A crowned cake hound? That's new. Hmm, have I seen a cake hound wearing a crown? There was a cake monster wearing all sorts of fancy trinkets. There also was a scary looking pirate. And then the pirate... Anyway, try going that way. Okay. Oh, it's really cold now. So we're going through the whole entire process of going through every one of the villages, like the levels that we went through basically. The snow is white like fresh cream, but it's freezing cold. Oh, how I wish my friend was here to see this. Maybe one day. Ugh, I'm sh sh shivering from the c cold. I want to get back to the kingdom. Well, where could that cake hound be? Oi! Little ferret! You'll freeze if you fall asleep here in the snow. Are you falling asleep? Quick, let's get you to my cabin to warm you up. A nice mug of warm milk will thaw your frozen dough. What? A gift? But it's freezing out. Huh. A cake hound wearing a crown? Well, my grandpa said he saw a cake hound that sounds like the one you're looking for headed over that mountain. Are you sure you're okay? 
You seem like you could use a little rest. You're in a rush? All right, then. Be careful! <sighs> Where am I now? I traveled through vast plains, tropical seas, and freezing snow! But I didn't even spot the tail of this cake hound. Does this cake hound even exist? Perhaps my perfect gift is lost forever. No! My perfect gift for my special friend! Ugh, my legs gave out from all the running. Why don't I take a little break? Ow! Something bit me! Let me go! Whoa! You're a cake hound! Bark! Bark! You really do exist! And you're wearing a big sparkly crown, just like in the story! I need your crown, buddy! You can't scare me with your barks! Nope. Yeah! Ah, the, that was a tough battle. Oh, I've no strength left to take my cookie form. Come on, cream fairy cookie. Get up! You've got this! Let's bring back the crown to my special friend! Whoa! My legs are so wobbly. Barf. Oh no! Barf. Barf. They, they just got it back. No! Give me back that crown! Oh, it's much too fast. I can't catch it. Ugh. Oh, creams. I'm exhausted. Ugh. Should I just give up here? Or I could continue after a little break. Creamy? Creamy? Oh, did someone call my name? Well, at this rate, I might be hearing things. But I'm sure someone called me Creamy. Oh, I don't think we've been apart for this long. We used to spend every day joined at the hip. I miss my little one so, so much. Okay, I traveled all the way here to make my friend happy. But I can't make that happen if I don't return to the kingdom safely. I couldn't get the perfect gift. But I'll do whatever it takes to get back home. Huh? Creamy? She, is, is that you? Oh, were you waiting for me all this time? N yeah. I, I was well, I was trying to find you because you just dropped off the face of the air for a few hours. Like, wh where were you? Like, you nearly had me worried sick. Like, and are your legs hurt? Y you're walking with a limp. Do I, do I call, like, a doctor or something? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Where'd you even go? Like, you weren't in the kingdom at all. I literally talked to passerbys. I talked, I checked every single building. D did you, like, go off into the forest or something? I, I, I thought you just, I thought you just left without even saying a word to me. What? I would never. What made you think I would do something like that? I mean, you've been very quiet, re like, recently, and you were, you were kind of lost in thoughts. Oh, no, that's not why I've been quiet. You see, I went out of the kingdom to find you a gift. Something extra special for my bestest friend of all. I wanted to gift you the crown from the story, you see. The crown worn by the cake hound. I searched the seas, high up in the snow-covered mountains, and deep in the woods. And when I eventually found the cake hound, I transformed into my ferret form and battled it out. But in the end, I lost the crown because the cake hound ran away with it. Oh, I wanted to give you the best present ever. For my one and only little one. But here I am, back in the kingdom, without your gift. I... I don't have anything for you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. Just... Let's calm down for a moment. You don't need to cry. I'm so sorry, little one. I told you, I'm not little anymore. I mean, do I, do I look little? If this is little for you, I'm considering what big is for you. But, and also, you don't even have to be sorry, because... I'm already happy anyway. You... you're happy? Yeah, I mean, I already have the best gift in the world, which, if you're wondering... Huh? It, it's you. I mean, you went through all the trouble just for me, and if that's not the best gift ever, I don't know what is. I can feel the love you have for me, Creamy, and it, it makes... kind of makes the inside of my doll feel, like, warm and fuzzy, even though I feel like 
If I kind of described it like that, I feel like I'd be melting, but... You, you, you know what I mean, okay? Plus, here's the most important thing. Number one, you have a little clover on top of you, which means... That's actually... If you just gave me that as a gift, that'd actually be pretty sweet, because, like, I've never even found one of those ever in my life. But the thing that's more important is that I'm glad that you're just back to, and, you know, you're safe, you're alive, and you're fine. <laughs> I, I don't need a present when I just have you. Like, as long as you're in my life, that's all I really need. Plus, I love the pretty four-leaf clover. Like, I just said that, too. Like, I don't need to mention it again. I just said that. And just thank you. Like, honestly, I... I I mean, you have the four-leaf clover, but I think I'm the luckiest cookie in all of Earthbread. I, I have the bestest, most considerate friend ever. Oh, kids really do grow up too fast. Okay, just don't worry. I'll always be your friend. Just come on, everyone's waiting for us anyway. What took you all so long? Here, put on this party hat. Royal decree. What? Well, me too. But it's not my birthday. Well... You arrived in this kingdom on the same day. Plus, you two are kind of a package deal. Oh, right. <laughs> How marvelous. The candles on the cake are lit. Ready to blow them out? Yeah. And here, a bouquet of berry gold flowers. <laughs> and don't forget my sparkling juice. Bubbles for everyone. You returned in one piece, I see. Oh, Tea Night Cookie. Sir Tea Night Cookie doesn't usually visit the town square. We're so glad you could join us. I was about to set out on a mission to find that ferret fellow, but you have returned safely. Cherish these precious moments with your friend. Thank you. I... I'm the happiest when I'm with my friends. You know what? Me too. In fact, I kept on thinking about what kind of cookie I am and, you know, what kind of cookie I'm supposed to be, but... I kind of realized that while you were away, it, it really doesn't matter what kind of cookie I'll grow up to be, and it really doesn't matter what type of adventures I'll go on, I'm not really afraid. As long as you're beside me, Cream Fairy Cookie, then that really doesn't matter. I mean, every day is an adventure with a loving friend by your side. Well put. You're my best friend, and I love you so, so much! Oh, come on, you two! The candles are melting! Blow it out! One, two... Three! Huh? You've grown even taller, my little subject! You're as tall as Cream Ferret Cookie now! Wait, really? What was I. Was I really that short before? Well, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna judge the extra type of height. That, that's pretty good. And I'm actually big enough to give you a hug now. You used to be so little and tiny, but look at you now, all grown up! It's... I think it's thanks to you, Cream Fairy Cookie. You, you just... you were just my friend. 